With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The question says a 12 or 1.2 meter uh, tall girl spots a balloon moving with wind in a horizontal line at a height of 88.2 meters from the ground. The angle of elevation of the balloon from the eye of the girl at an instant is 60 degrees. After some time, the angle of elevation reduces to 30 degrees. Find the distance traveled by the balloon during this uh, during the interval. So, what we are given is that that there is a girl. Say this is the height of the girl, or we can say this is the height of the girl that is 1.2 meters, and she is she spotted a balloon. So, suppose this is the balloon. Uh, this is the height of the balloon. This this is the point. This is the point of the balloon. Now what says is that the angle of elevation of the balloon. So uh, tall girl spots a balloon. Uh, the angle of elevation of the balloon from the eyes. Uh, also, the the height of the balloon from the ground is given as 88.2 meters. So this height. So this height is 88.2 meters from the ground, and this height is of 1.2 meters. Now it says that the angle of elevation of the balloon from the girl at an instant is 60 degrees. That is from here. It is 60 degrees. The angle of elevation is 60 degrees. So I will join this line and I will join this line. This is given to us as 60 degrees. Now what is said that after some time the angle of elevation reduces to 30 degrees. So balloon has traveled some distance. Suppose the balloon has come here. This is the point where the balloon is now. So the distance given is so this angle of elevation what we have here is sixty degree. Uh, this is thirty degrees. The angle of elevation elevation has got reduced. This is thirty degree. But the height, but the height is a horizontal line. Horizontal since it is moving with the wind in a horizontal line, that means this height is also eighty eight point two meters. This was 88.2 meters, so this is also the 88.2 meters. Now what we have to find is that we need to find the distance that is traveled by that has been traveled by the balloon. So for doing this, what we are going to do is we will take this distance as x and this distance as y. So basically, what we have is uh, I will label them as well. So this is a, b, c, d, e. Okay, uh, say f and g as well so now what here says let let bc is equals to x x meters and ce is equals to y meter we basically need to find the distance traveled by the balloon that is this distance that is y ce so now what we have is this what we have here is that this bg uh, the total height of the balloon from the ground that is the total height height of the balloon from the ground or we can say height of the girl is 1.2 meters and the height of the balloon from ground is 88.2 meters so this distance that is ac will be or i can write it as ac will be equal to de so ac equals to de will be equal to 88.2 minus 1.2 why because this is the height of the this is the height that is from the uh, eye of the uh, balloon uh, eye of the girl to the balloon so this is the perpendicular height so this will be 88.1 uh, 88.2 minus 1.2 so this will come out to be 87 meters this is what it comes now what we have here is so we got this distance ac is equals to de is equals to 88.87 meters now first of all now take a, take a look at in triangle in triangle abc tan theta or tan of 60 degrees is equals to AC by BC AC by BC and tan of 60 degrees is equals to root 3 so what we have here is that what we have here is this that this root 3 AC we got as 87 by BC is X so what will happen is x comes out to be 87 by root 3 or we can uh, we'll rationalize this so root 3 into root 3 by multiplying it by root 3 and root 3 what we have is x comes out to be 
एटी सेवन रूट थ्री बाय सो रूट थ्री इंटू रूट थ्री इज थ्री थ्री सो आई मल्ट डिवाइड दिस सो एट टू जिक्सटीन एंड नाइन जो ट्वेंटी सेवन सो वट आई हैव इज एक्स कम्स आउट टू बी ट्वेंटी नाइन रूट थ्री मीटर्स दिस इज द डिस्टेंस एक्स नाउ इन ट्राइंगल डी बी ई इन ट्राइंगल ट्राइंगल डी बी ई अगेन tan of in this case the angle is 30 degree tan of 30 degrees will be equals to de by be and b uh, so now this is given as tan 30 degrees so tan of 30 degrees is equals to 30 degrees is equals to 1 by root 3 so what we can have is that 1 by root 3 is de and de we already know It is equals to eighty-seven meters. This is equals to eighty-seven meters. Eighty-seven meters divided by BE. Now BE is x plus y. BE can be written as BC plus CE. That is x plus y. So this is x plus y. From here, what you get is so this comes out to be x plus y is equals to eighty-seven root three. This is the value of x plus y. Now We'll put this value of x here. So x comes out to be so x is twenty uh, nine root three. So this will become twenty nine root three plus y is equals to eighty seven root three. From here, y will come out to be eighty seven root three minus twenty nine root three. So what we get is this is so this y will come out to be eighty seven minus twenty nine uh, root three. So this will be eight, and so this will become fifty-eight, fifty-eight root three. So this comes out to fifty-eight root three meters. Now, why is actually the distance traveled by the balloon? So this distance, or we can uh, we can simplify it as so y. Now root three, approximate value of root three is given as one point seven three two. So the value of y will come out to be. Fifty-eight into one point seven three two. So this comes out to be hundred point. This will uh, come out to be somewhere hundred point four five six meters. So the distance traveled by the balloon is, or I can uh, write it instead of writing here, I can write it here that distance traveled by. By balloon is hundred point four five six meters. So this is our final answer. For class six to twelve, ITJ and NEET level, trusted by more than five crore students. Download Doubt and App today.